New York City, and I'm here with somebody who I've never met in real life before. We met through Instagram, so I'm so excited to go meet up with her. I'm here for like five days on a content trip, gonna show all of the fun content, and I'm so excited to go meet up with her. So I'm just gonna spill the tea and tell you who I am coming with. It is Katia. She is jet lag lovers on Instagram. She's like the figure skating girl on well, TikTok and Instagram. She's like TikTok and Instagram famous for her skating, figure skating video. She's amazing. But yeah, we've been chatting for the last like, few months and like talking about going on a trip together. And the time finally came, she was like, I'm gonna be in New York. And I was like, you know what? I'm not that busy in March. I'm gonna come with you. So here I am and I'm gonna jump in a taxi and head to the hotel that we're staying at for the next two nights. Okay, we just checked in to, well, I just checked in. The girls got here a couple hours before me um, and our shit's already everywhere. We're moving into a room with two beds tomorrow, thankfully, because there's three of us. But yeah, we are at the West House Hotel. It's really close to like Central Park and Times Square. So yeah, hopefully go for like a little walk in Central Park tomorrow or something, which would be really nice, but we're heading out now. Okay, just got changed to go for some drinks. Girl needs a drink. Did like slick back bun because my hair is greasy. And I'm doing this little jerf ab dress with matching sleeves, but I should have sized down in the sleeves because they seem to be massive and falling down. <laughs> um, and then I'm wearing my favorite Amazon heels that are like the dupe of the Versace and then I have a bag and a coat out there. Um, we're gonna go find some cocktails. I feel like that was a lot more than we signed up for, but the margaritas were really good, and I finally ate my first meal of the day. So, so good. Kudos, kudos to me for that. I had a chicken bowl, and it was like I was gonna order Chipotle anyways, so it was nice to just like. No, have... I feel like it was like good. The atmosphere was good. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was a good vibe. What was it called? Vita Verde. Vita Verde, something like that. It was Viber. Check it out. Okay, we just got back to our hotel, and we got security to let us onto the rooftop terrace. It's closed for the night, so we had to beg. Um, he's just inside, like waiting for us to be done. But like, the view is stunning. <laughs> There's lots of like really cool rooftop bars, like right down below us. I don't know if you can see that one right there, but like it looks like a vibe. And all of the bars around here stay open till 4 a.m., which like to me seems so unheard of because of COVID. But it's so fun, and you can see like Times Square is like right there. Gotta get that BTS. Good morning, you guys. I feel like I was so bad at vlogging yesterday. I was just like, kind of frazzled most of the day because if you watched my LA vlog, you know how stressful my like custom situation was getting to the US last time I was here. So I feel like this time I was just like so stressed to go through customs again to see if they were gonna like pull me in a secondary. Obviously it was fine but I had it like built up in my head that it was gonna be a thing and it wasn't. Anyways, so I feel like I like didn't vlog at all yesterday morning. Oh, I look really tired, but that's fine. I promise I'll be better at it today. I just woke up like 10 minutes ago and the girls are at the gym. Good for them because like going, they're both coming from Toronto obviously. And so like Toronto to New York, there's no time change, which is so nice for them because I it, I probably didn't fall asleep till like 2.30 last night, so I like ended up sleeping like half an hour longer than they did this morning because your girl was tired and I had to, I had to get up at 5 yesterday morning to get to the airport because I wanted to be extra early in case the lines were long or in case they randomly did pull me into secondary again, <laughs> but they didn't so I was at my gate like two hours early. Anyways, that is... That is the scoop with yesterday. Today, it's supposed to be like fairly rainy, I think, in New York. So we're probably gonna hustle for like, mostly like indoor shooting locations, which is fine. It actually doesn't look like it's raining right now. So it might be okay. This is the view I'm looking at. We just kind of like look out into this courtyard, which is like cool and old. There's the sky there and I do not think that I don't think it's raining fingers crossed <laughs> just threw on some comfy clothes 
Um, and I'm gonna head upstairs to the terrace where we were last night because that's where like the breakfast room is and breakfast is included with our stay. So I'm gonna go get some food and some coffee. We just finished our breakfast. We're about to get kicked out of the breakfast buffet like real soon. <laughs> We're just hanging out. We got food to go and we ate it all while we were here. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally empty. Yeah, we're just trying to like plan out our outfits for the day and locations and stuff and figure out where to even start. But it's like sunny outside, which is really nice. It was supposed to be raining all morning, so we're happy with that and get organized and start our day soon. Okay, we just moved into our new room. It's much bigger. It has two beds. And instead of a view of the courtyard, we have a nice view of the city faces the same direction as the rooftop and we have more like aesthetic mirrors like this one and yeah the bathroom's like pretty much the same by the way today's outfit i'm gonna like loosen this chain when i go outside but like i'm just scared of nip slips so we're leaving it closed tightly for now these cargo pants are from zara they were in my latest haul video I love them and then this top is from princess polly i have a discount code it's izzy i think it's izzy dilge this month or maybe it's it's just izzy it's just izzy i z z y i'll leave it in the description as well just in case i mess that up um and then i'm just wearing my dior sneakers and i'll do a white my white prada bag with this look okay we made it to soho hair is back in the slick bun because that is clearly my hairstyle choice these days the gals are shooting, so I'll get a little BTS, but it's 19 degrees. It's so nice. We're just in front of the Bottega store. Downtown Soho. Okay, you guys, I've been bad at updating you today, but we shot a second look in Soho, and now we're in the meatpacking district. And the sun can't really tell because it's hella overexposed, but the sun is like, there's like a nice sunset. The sun is stunning today. It was like very warm. We just are about to order some Aperol spritzes. This is an Italian place. It's called La Fricora Bianca. And we really feel like pasta too. I'm changed into outfit number three of the day. It's just from Pretty Little Thing. But it's like very comfy, so that's the vibe for dinner tonight. That's the pasta eating vibe. <laughs> yeah. But I think, no, last time we got brought on it and I thought it overpowered. Got like a mushroom pesto oh, so pasta. I just had a couple bites and this is their gluten-free pasta that's like made in the house. It's so good. Okay, you guys, I should have vlogged more of a behind the scenes. This is obviously a transformation from the last time you saw me, but we decided we're gonna do like flash cab photos tonight. I'm on our way to go have some drinks and we put like fun little butterfly clips in our hair and I have more makeup on than usual. I have like pink eyeshadow, it's kind of hard to see, but then we're gonna add some jewels as well. We're doing it's Euphoria inspired. Mm -hmm. You can, hang out. You can hang out with us while we get ready. finish getting ready. Are you still gonna add more eyeshadow? Yeah, I'll do a little bit more eyeshadow. Wait, add this. What I just added is really good. Oh, it's euphoria, but I just put it where I normally put highlight. Okay. And it's like oh, just mm. sparkles, but it's like it's like glitter. Okay. Just make sure you like go out. Oh, it's fine. Hold on, because it like gets tangled in between. Mm -hmm. Okay, also recommendation from Kat get this stuff. This is like a stick. Oh my god, on. yeah. This is what I used to gel my hair last night very blurry but it's bedhead from amazon yeah it was literally like i think four dollars 4.99 i'm gonna buy it too but so. i needed it because i have so many baby hairs if i remember i'll link it so that you guys can buy it too <laughs> because it's so good for gelling your hair back like if you want a slick bun look mm -hmm. the slick look i think i have the most baby hairs out of anyone in this world <laughs> it's so good for but this is what i'm thinking we can use for the jewels Oh, because yeah. it's so, it's so, so it's intense anyway. Yeah, so I got these like bedazzling jewels, like Euphoria inspired makeup from Amazon also. But it doesn't come with glue, so you have to get creative with how you actually stick them on your face. These ones might actually be for your nails, but that's fine. I used um, hair, hair glue, like men's hair gel <gasps> last time, and it's, it's stuck. I, I skated with them. I have some men's hair gel. What's it? 
Oh, oh, that'll work too. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Perfect. Or this, literally, because this might be more intense. I'll try it. <laughs> what some? size jewel should I do? You do tiny ones. You can do those ones. ones. Or like really like tiny. Ones? Wait, I should We're do more than them. one. I was just gonna do like one in each corner, maybe. No, oh, just like there like at the tip of the eyeliner on the corner. Okay. I think that'd be really pretty. Posture check. <laughs> oh my god, they're so small. Okay, here's these little tweezers that are probably supposed to make it easier to like hold these things, but I don't think it's even going to help. Wait, oh, oh that's interesting. <laughs> Drops it on the upside down. <laughs> okay. I'm so invested. Oh, it's on. Oh my god, it's it looks pretty. good! It it's looks pretty. pretty! It made the eyeliner so much better. I like it. I think you can't really even see it because no, it's yes, so small. No, yes you can. In the light you can. For flash right. photos. I don't know if that's going to stay on my face. It's like slides down. <laughs> Just one under above your Okay, I'm not even gonna use these little tweezers. I'm just gonna use this to secure your makeup. Oh, did you use this by the way? The for her face. Um, like That's this. She for, yeah. That's what she's using. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, sick. Okay, amazing. They're really small, but they're nice. Okay, my like little jewels are showing up really well now. Um, we went and shot our looks in a cab with Flash, and they turned out really well. But I completely forgot to bring you guys along. Sorry about that. Here's a little like sneak peek. We literally paid a cab driver just to drive us around to take photos. I think he thought it, we were insane, but it was worth it. We did it for the gram. Yours turned out so good. Oh yeah, we tried to stick our feet <laughs> out the window. He didn't. I think he was like, "What the hell?" Wait, it's Wait we did cool. both of us. Wait. Wait. I kind of. Like, like, it's actually cute. It's cute. I love so the yellow like cab. Yeah. Thing yeah. But yeah, we're going to go across the street now to that bar that we were going to go to for a drink last night, but then we got too tired, so let's go. We're all yawning. <laughs> let's go before we change our minds again. I'm wearing my very heavy. We're all early birds. You can totally see the jewels in this lighting. Hey. Finally actually started raining. I know. It's nice, though. You can walk more easily. Is it that? Should we go in right there? Yeah, let's go. Wait, I want to get candy first. So can we do that? Is there oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Cat really wants candy. I've been, like, searching on the high. <laughs> we were, like, looking for it in our dresses and very high heels before. And just, like, our hair was just getting wet and we couldn't find it. So we'll go get it now. And then we'll go for a drink. Attic, literally. We'll just put it in our cocktails. <laughs> we got the goods. We got the treats. be really funny actually if I, if I sent you here to take a video of me dancing oh in my the... god <laughs> that's a really good idea that's our hotel right there I like it wait I kind of want okay we just got home we're jumping in bed it's 1 30 in the morning so girls need to go sleep putting the eye mask on good night good morning you guys we are just getting ready for the day we just had breakfast upstairs on the little terrace again and we have to check out of our hotel this morning we're checking into a new one this afternoon but we're gonna head over to central park and if you guys don't follow kat on instagram already you might know her from instagram because she's like and tiktok actually she's like a figure skater and she always wears like cute clothes and goes skating so we're going to central park and she's gonna film a bit of skating content so i'm just gonna go watch and be moral support and also like go for a cute little walk in Central Park and then we'll probably head over to the Upper East Side and shoot a little bit of content there and then we're gonna head to our new hotel and check in and that's kind of the plan for this morning and then this afternoon and evening I'm so excited to see my friend Maggie I haven't seen her since before COVID so like three years she lives in New York and we FaceTime all the time, but like haven't seen each other in years, so I'm so excited to see her later. Okay, this is this lighting is awful on my face, but this is today's first look. The whole outfit is from Zara. These pants, really long, like the flipped Dickies vibe, and then this little vest. I really, really like it. It has like a little like cinch at the back, kind of. I thought I was gonna return it, but I think I'm actually gonna keep this whole outfit. We're digging in. We're heading to the Upper East Side, so I feel like hopefully I'll find a good location to shoot this look.
Okay, we made it to Central Park. Um, Dragging her skating with me. <laughs> yeah. We were looked at an Uber. It was like $40. And we swore we could hear cheering this morning. And we were like, what is going on in the streets? Sure enough, we walk outside. There's like a half marathon going on. Like down the street from actually like pretty much at our hotel. And it feels like summer. Like yeah, it's really we warm. We left wearing jackets and we're like dying of sweat. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like a very nice day in New York. You can still hear the cheering going on from the marathon. But yeah, that's why the city is... The city's very alive it's right now. It's a perfect day for skating. Yes. <laughs> and and watch her skating. <laughs> Cinderella herself at the rink. <laughs> Thanks. Can you call me Elsa? <laughs> Well, that was successful. We got we got the content right. Yeah, and it got a little chilly while we were skating. Yeah, it so. did actually. We're gonna now go we change it to shorts. <laughs> yeah, I didn't change, but we need coffee. We're gonna go get another coffee and walk around the Upper East Side. XOXO. Lots of girl vibes today. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> This is the infamous shooting location that everyone takes. Oh, cute. Your black outfit would actually look really nice here. We should go take a mirror selfie. Okay, we found like the cute spot for coffee, which Kat already mentioned in the previous clip, because she's a great little blogger. We're at Ralph, the Ralph Lauren store, and there's like a really stunning cafe here. So we're gonna get coffee, see what the hype's all about, and then probably go try to find a spot to shoot these looks. Okay, just a little update. We shot these looks on the Upper East Side, and now we are we just um, went back to the hotel and grabbed all of our bags and stuff, and we're gonna go check into our new hotel before we go meet up with Maggie. I'm Which so is exciting. so exciting! Yay! Okay, we just checked into our room. It's super funky and cute. There's like animal print, everything. This chair under here is like zebra print too. And we have a nice view of the city. It's super overcast now. The sun kind of went away and it got a lot colder, but very cute room. There's lots of like mirrored things everywhere. So it'll be cute to take pics later. Look who I found. Reunited after three years apart. Literally three years. So happy. That's tragic. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, we made it too. So we're back and we are shooting by the Acne building today. I didn't shoot here yesterday, which is Nice. This building's really clean. The iconic Acne Studios. Non graffitied. Building. It is the graffiti has been removed. Thank God. Yeah. We were all nervous. We were. <laughs> Everyone was scared. We were very nervous for a second. <laughs> but yeah, this this like area is really cute. I feel like we're coming back to Soho tomorrow. We might shoot here again tomorrow because I like to spat. <laughs> I'm shooting a video of her walking across the street and we're just waiting for the light to turn green. Here she comes. Yeah. TikTok time. <laughs> okay, ready? One. Wait, yours looks good too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we just finished shooting. This is the look that I wore to dinner last night that I didn't end up shooting from PLT. And yeah, we got it done. Got her done right at the acne store. And oh, now we're, we're gonna, gonna go walking the wrong way. Oh, are we? What's it called? Papa, Papa Zool. Oh, it might be down. BRB. Okay, we just had like three glasses of wine. Feeling good. Um, forgot to update you guys. We were just at the Butcher's Daughter. That place right there. Had some wine. We're heading to dinner now at Cell Rose. Both of us have never been there before, but it looks really good. 
cute cocktails, oysters, all of the things. Maggie's gonna I've her I've never first had oyster. an oyster. I'm terrified. It's going down. I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's gonna be so great. You're gonna do you love like it. Do you chew it or do you just? I take like one. I chew it because like otherwise it's like if you can't even if you don't chew it, you can't taste like, it. But that's not what you're supposed to do technically. You're just supposed to swallow it. I think so. But like, what's the fun in that? Swallow. And you put all. Don't spit. <laughs> don't spit. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it first. <laughs> Yorkers hailing us a cab. Oh, he turned! What a well, dick! <laughs> Good morning, you guys. We neglected you on the vlog last night. We were having too much fun. Yeah, we were having too much fun, and then we just like, it was like the flip of a switch for me, and I was so tired, and I was like, I need to go to bed. So we came home and crashed immediately. But we are just getting ready to head back to Soho, since that's our favorite place <laughs> the last few days. And we have a little brunch rescue at Jack's Way Frida with my friend Steph, who is also like a blogger. I haven't seen her also in three years, so it'll be really fun to catch up with her. And we're kind of just gonna spend the day down there and then try to do some like sunset photos tonight because it's a really nice day. And then have an early night tonight because your girls are getting old. So that's sort of the plan for the day. Yeah, I look tired. Okay, we just got to Jack's Way Frida and Steph's here. We just ordered some food. The coffee is really, really good. And then we're gonna go shoot like one or two looks after. Yeah. It's, the sun is shining, it's warm, we're happy. It's, it's a great Monday. It's a great day for a Monday. Okay, so we just shot a look in Soho. I'm gonna change into my next look shortly, but I am just doing my return COVID test for the way home. I got tested on the way here with Iridia Medical again, and if you use my name, you can get a discount on your test if you're from Vancouver. But they now have these really cool testing kits, so like you buy like a return kit, so you go in and get your test as normal on the way here, but then on the way back, you get these little like kits and you do like a virtual COVID test. So I'm about to FaceTime somebody and do this test and then it takes like 15 minutes and then they'll send me the results and everything. So I'm good for my flight home tomorrow. Such a cool system. This is like the first company that I've heard of doing this. And I mean like we won't need the return test to get back into Canada as of April 1st, which is so nice. But until then, Vancouver Pals, this is like the best thing ever. It's like $157 for both, like the test on the way there and the way back. And this is so nice. You don't have to like find somewhere in the US to like go get a test. You just take your little kit and get it done. So I'm really happy about this. Let's do it. So I got all the paperwork for my flight tomorrow. So that feels good to get that done. And then Steph and I shot another look. And then I just went and sat down and did some work. And now I'm walking to go meet up with Kat again. She just finished her meeting that she had. Um, and we're going to this store called, it's called Shop RNTL. And it's got all of these like cute, like expensive pieces that you can like borrow for content. So I think we're gonna grab a couple of pieces. Ooh, I'm just coming up to the Zara store. I might need to pop in. <laughs> just picked up those clothes I was talking about and I'm back up with Kat and we're just gonna have a quick bite to eat at Ruby's before we head back towards the hotel. Okay, 
Okay, we had our dinner, very early dinner, our like four o'clock dinner. The food there was so good. That pasta I had, it was a spicy vodka pasta. It was like honestly so good and it was only $15, which I feel like is unheard of in New York. So good, yeah. Um, but anyways. We paying, like nothing below 19 for a drink. Yeah, for a drink. And those Where's drinks. <laughs> yeah, those drinks were affordable. The food was really good and affordable. We're just walking past the Flatiron building. We just decided to walk for a while before we jump in a cab to head back to the hotel and then have like a quick little reset and then head back to Soho just to shoot sunset content. Because there is not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, I've actually lucked out with the weather so much. Yeah, we have. Oh, these dogs. Hey, fluffy guys. Okay guys, little update because I didn't update you at all. My hair is disgusting. I need to brush it. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I promise I don't have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't like tell you where we were going or anything, but we pretty much came back to the room after our walk and changed quickly, got ready, packed a different bag, and then we went back to Soho. We went back to Modern House where we shot some photos last night to their rooftop for sunset because it was a really nice sunset tonight. Shot some content on the roof um, and then- They turned out so good. Yeah, they turned out really good. We got espresso martinis. We and then really drunk. and i got in trouble for using my camera up there my vlog camera so that's why i didn't really vlog that much or explain what the heck was happening to you guys so that's why i'm explaining it now the guy pretty much told us he was going to kick us out if i didn't stop using my camera so we dodged that bullet but we just ordered um shake shack <laughs> meal number it's four coming, it's coming in five minutes <laughs> we're very excited yeah so i'm gonna go comb my hair and then eat some shake shack the I queen received. I received the goods. The queen has I arrived. Even, I even dressed up. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Shake shack. Shake shack. How do you feel posting real time? You can't laugh at it. There's some BTS going on here. This is what goes on behind the scenes with beauty reels. Do you need another tape or you think? I'm good. Okay, now you're gonna unzip it in the corner. <laughs> so you guys think I take all my own reels? <laughs> Do you need the corner shot? Yep. Okay, then one. Shh, go. Okay. Um, and now. Okay, I know you can barely see us, but we are going to bed. We're getting up really early tomorrow to go shoot sunrise content at Brooklyn Bridge, so pray for us that we can get up that early. Good night. Good morning. It is the butt crack of dawn. The sun's like just starting to come up now, so we, we are about to- We discovered that we have the view of the Empire State Building and I fully cut you off, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a view of the Empire State Building out the window. We're just like running out the door to go shoot these looks before the sun's like up in the sky, so I'll update you in a sec. <laughs> We just got like the cutest bestie content when, I mean, it was sunnier a second ago on the bridge and it was really cute. So, I'm so excited to show you guys the photos. <laughs> okay. We're just walking around with the coffee at the hotel. It wasn't great. So we're on the hunt for more coffee and some food. We're just by Bryant Park and we're gonna go to Whole Foods and get some snacks and then head back to the hotel and lounge for snacks a bit. after like Shake Shack pasta literally for the day. ate yeah, <laughs> like pasta for dinner and then Shake Shack for dessert. It's disgusting <laughs> but delicious. Okay we decided to come get coffee and breakfast at Pain Quatien like in Bryant Park and then I got a salad from Whole Foods City later. This toast that I got looks so good. It's like ricotta 
sweet potato toast. Let me show you. Back in the room, I just finished packing up all of my crap. We're spending some time out. <laughs> We're just spending some time on TikTok hanging out, and my ride should be here soon. I'm really excited. I'm partnering with this like limo company called Black Lane. They have really nice rides to the airport, which just like is nice to not have to worry about like having an unsafe driver to go that far by yourself or like someone that you can't trust. So, anyways. I also have a discount code for Black Lane, which I'll include in the description below. So you guys can use it if you ever come to New York and you want to like pre-book a service, but you have to book them 48 hours in advance. So that's why I couldn't ride with them on the way here because I didn't get a hold of them early enough. So make sure you do that if you ride with them. Yeah, we're seeing each other again very soon. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're not letting her go. <laughs> There's someone in the Hello, how are you? She's so color coordinated. We I try. do we not try. know what that is even like. <laughs> even her luggage matches. Okay, boo. I'm gonna miss you. Okay, made it to the airport. I got here way faster than I was expecting, so that was kind of nice. Um, got my bags checked, went through security, and I'm just getting some food at this one spot. It's got these little like computers, so you like order everything yourself, like at the table, which is so weird. And you like put in your flight details, and it gives you like updates on your flight information. It's very like virtual. One sec, I'll show you. So you like scan your boarding pass and then they tell you updates on your flight and then you can pick food. I ordered the salad. It's so weird. Everyone has one at their station. Wow, this actually looks really good. Well, you guys, this trip has taken a turn for the worse. If you can't tell, I'm in a hotel room. It is not Vancouver. So I got to the airport, had lots of time to kill. I was feeling really good about like going home tonight to sleep in my own bed. And then my flight from New York to Denver, I had like a stopover in Denver, got delayed by like two hours. So then I wasn't gonna make my connecting flight to Vancouver from Denver. So I called United because there was nobody at the, by the way, never fly United, they're the worst. I, uh, I called them because there was nobody at the check-in desk at the gate that I was supposed to be at. So I called them and he was basically like, oh, well, there's no other flights to Vancouver from Denver tonight. So you either need to stay the night in New York slash like in, I'm in New Jersey. Technically, I'm at, I was at Newark airport or spend the night in Denver and then get your connecting flight to Vancouver in the morning. So since I already had a checked bag, I was kind of like, okay, well, my bag's checked. Maybe I will fly to Denver tonight, stay the night there, and then fly to Vancouver in the morning. But the guy was like, in order to get your hotel, either way you need like a hotel stay, whether it's in New Newark or in Denver. And he's like, I can't help you with that. So you have to go to the customer service desk. I'm gonna lay down, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down while I talk to you guys. So fast forward, I go find the customer service desk, only two people working and the line was probably like 30 people in front of me. So anyways, I stood in that line because the flight then got delayed like another two times. So I was like, okay, I have time. So I stood in that line for what ended up being like an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 maybe until it was my turn. And then he was gonna, I told him like my preferences to spend the night in Denver and then fly to Vancouver the next morning. So he looked into it and there were, he was like, okay, you can do that on this, like you can get this flight, but then in the morning, 
you'll have to stop in San Francisco on your way to Vancouver. So I was like, okay, well, I don't want to like go all over the USA. So like, no, is there any other options? And he was like, well, you could take this same flight at tomorrow. It's not till the afternoon. And I was like, well, clearly this flight is having issues. So like, I'd prefer not to do that. So then I asked him if he had, because Air Canada and United are affiliated. I was like, do you have any, I know there's a direct flight today or sorry, tomorrow on Air Canada. It's not till 6 p.m., but like, are there any seats on that? Can you put me on that flight? So he looked and he was like, yeah. So I was like, great, can I get my bag since the flight's like 24 hours from now? And he was like, yeah, sure. I'll like put in this ticket to get it pulled off. So that was all fine and dandy. And I was like, okay, I'm getting my bag. I'm getting put in a hotel. Like it sucks that I'm not going home tonight, but it's not the end of the world. And I get a direct flight tomorrow. Everything's fine. And like by the, t it took him a long time to like change my flight and then like do all everything he needed to do with my bag. So I was like, okay. So then I took like the little bag check number, went down to like the baggage claim area, told the lady my situation. She plugged in some numbers, whatever. And she was like, okay, your bag should be dispensed over on like carousel nine. She's like, but it might be like an hour, an hour and a half. And I was like, oh, that sucks, but okay, whatever. So I went and sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there and an hour and a half went by and I was like, hey, well, my bag's still not here. Maybe I should go check. Like this other lady told me to go check this like QOH area where they had a bunch of bags. She was like, just in case you missed it or something, like go check that area. So I went to check and told the lady my situation and she like looked up my bag information from my like baggage claim stub. And she was like, oh no, your bag went to Denver. Even though I requested from her, like from the lady at the baggage claim thing and the people upstairs that helped me change my flight, I requested my bag to be removed from the plane by two different people. It still went to Denver. So my check bag went to Denver, which means no toiletries, no nothing to sleep in, no clothes whatsoever. The only thing in my carry-on are like my expensive bags and shoes because I travel with those like so that they don't, go to random places without me so I have nothing to my name and I literally started bawling at the airport because I was like okay I've been sitting here for like five hours now and you still sent my bag to Denver where I'm not going I'm not going through Denver I'm like how am I gonna get my bag back anyways this is a very long story but this has been my day so they felt really bad for me and th what they did is they like ended up requesting to have that bag sent back to Newark since my flight's not until 6 p.m so they're gonna like bring it back to the airport and then hold it for me until tomorrow. And then the other annoying thing is that I have to go get another COVID test tomorrow because that will one, the one that I had did yesterday will be more than 24 hours old now. So it won't be valid to re-enter Canada because it's still not April 1st. So it's just been a day, you guys. So I just got to the hotel that they put me up in. I um, had to take like a train and then a shuttle to get here. And so I took the train and like a bunch of different shuttles, like hotel shuttles came by, kept going by, kept going by. And then I heard some people talking being like, yeah, like the shuttle to like the particular hotel I'm staying at hasn't come in like 45 minutes. They're supposed to come every half hour. So there were a ton of people waiting for the shuttle. So I just kind of stood near, I was standing near the front because I was kind of asking different shuttles like if they were going to the hotel I was staying at. I pretty much like forced myself onto the shuttle because I was like, I am not waiting at this airport another minute. So anyways, got to the hotel. So they're putting me up for the night and I'm here for 24 hours and they gave me two $10 meal vouchers for 24 hours, so. I hate United. <laughs> don't ever fly them. Don't ever fly. This is like the reason that I took the flight with a stopover on the way here was because it was like significantly cheaper than the direct flight. But like note to self, pay the extra like 300 bucks and do the direct flight because otherwise you'll waste 24 hours of your life and you'll just go through annoying things. No, I, I mean, it's a first world problem. Don't get me wrong. It's not the end of the world. I just hope that I get my bag back tomorrow so that my stuff isn't like randomly in the USA without me because it has like all my clothes and like, my prescriptions and my toiletries and stuff in it. So I'd really like to have that back, but I'm pretty much just hanging out here for the next, it'll be less than 24 hours now. But like all day tomorrow, I need to go find a COVID test. And I was going to maybe like film some TikToks tomorrow in the room and like utilize the time. But now that I don't have my suitcase, 
can't do that. All I have is the sweatsuit that I'm wearing. And the ladies at United gave me a toothbrush, which was really nice of them. They gave me a toothbrush and a water bottle and some like nice hand cream and stuff. I think they felt really bad for me because I was crying because it was just kind of the last straw for me. Anyways, that's the update. That's the tea. I'm going to get in bed and order room service and probably cry again just because I just need to let it out sometimes, you know? Okay, you guys, you can tell by the change of scenery that I'm home and made it. I wish I give you more like like minute by minute updates, but I'll just kind of like fill you in on everything that happened in the last like 24 hours since I updated you last. So I went down to the hotel and had some dinner, went up, had a pretty crappy sleep, honestly. And then when I woke up in the morning, I was kind of checking what flights from Denver there were back to Newark because I was gonna, I had to go find my bag that they were sending back to the airport. I was supposed to go pick it up. So I was checking all the different flight numbers and stuff and one of them was supposed to land at like 11.30 in the morning. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to the airport and see if my bag's there. So that's what I did. I went to the airport for like 11.30, sat around, checked, my bag wasn't there yet. And then the lady was able to locate it and she's like, okay, it looks like it's landing at 1.45 p.m. So I was like, perfect. So I sat by the baggage carousel. She told me what number it would be and I sat there for until 1.45 and then all the bags came out and then the carousel turned off and mine was not on it. So I was like, perfect. So I went back to the desk and it was actually the same lady that was helping me last night came to work at like probably one or something. She was really sweet. She like ran over to me and she was like, do you have your bag yet? And I'm like, nope, still here. But anyways, so she helped me figure it out and I guess like my bag had made it back to Newark, but for some reason they kept it down in like the basement room, like where they unload the planes, like they weren't bringing it up. And I was like, okay, well, can you like bring it up? What's gonna happen here? Like, and they couldn't bring it up. So they were like, they're just gonna transfer it onto your other flight. And I'm like, okay, can you confirm that that's gonna happen? And they're like, I don't know. So I was like, perfect. Fingers crossed that my bag makes it to Vancouver on my direct flight with Air Canada, which was different than a United. So I was just kind of like manifesting that it would arrive. And then meanwhile, the other thing I had to figure out was like my COVID test because it was technically expired because you're supposed to get an antigen test within like 24 hours of your flight or like one day before. But because I got mine on Tuesday, no, I got mine on Monday. So I was supposed to fly Tuesday. So it was expired. So I was like, hey, I looked at the airport. The only option was a rapid PCR test, which was 250 US dollars. So I was like, Let's try to avoid that if possible. So I went to the Air Canada desk and explained my situation. It was like, look, I was supposed to fly out yesterday. Like, is there anything we can do? And they were like, no, I think you're gonna have to pay for the $250 test. And I was like, okay, like, can you just like double check that there's no like extenuating circumstances or like anything you can do, like make an exception for me. Like, please just like let me know. So they brought out their supervisor and he like, he said that they would honor my COVID test, which was so nice. So I didn't have to get another one, didn't have to get another like, swab and didn't have to pay $250, which was so amazing. So I was like, okay, hey, things are looking up. Anyways, when I found out my bag was getting sent like directly, I went and checked in and the guy kind of like tried to assure me that my bag was gonna make it on the flight that I was on. So I was like, okay, fingers crossed, here we go. Went and like I checked in really early because I was at the airport like eight hours before my flight. <laughs> it's been a lot of days <laughs> spending time in airports. I'm really hoping for better luck traveling after this, but um, yeah, pretty much went sat on my gate and then got on the plane, everything was fine. And then I landed in Vancouver and I got a text that was like, we still, ha it's from United, like from my missing bag claim. And they're like, we still haven't located your luggage. And I'm like, well, fuck, like they told me that it was gonna be on my plane. So then I was stressed that my bag wasn't gonna be on this flight. And I mean like worst case scenario, I'm sure that they would like courier it to my house tomorrow or whatever when it arrived. I was just more worried that it would like get lost or something. I was sitting like far back and up on the plane that when they were unloading the bags onto the little like ramp, I was like watching like a hawk and I saw a bag and I was like, oh my God, I think that's my freaking bag. So I started to get my hopes up, went through customs, was really quick and then got to the baggage carousel and sure enough, my bag made it. It had like four different stickers on it because it, it's traveled more than I have because it went from here to New York, no problem. And then it went New York to Denver, Denver back to New York, and then New York to Vancouver. So it had a day, but it doesn't even look like anyone looked through it or anything. Like it was packed exactly how I packed it, but I'm home. I made it safely. 
and I'm just happy to be here and I'm so happy that next time I travel it'll be after April 1st so I won't have to mess around and get the what do you even call it the antigen test to come back into Canada so things are looking up you guys my travel all of my travel uh drama hopefully is coming to an end so the vlogs will no longer contain any of this at the end but that being said hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was such a good trip that just like happened to end in an unfortunate way but like it's fine it only is 24 hours of my life whatever like i got some work done yesterday and today on my phone so whatever it is what it is but yeah stay tuned for lots more travel vlogs i have lots more trips coming up this year so fingers crossed for smooth sailing traveling and i will see you guys next time mm -hmm.